In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create and remove directories in Linux. So first of all, I'll do an ls to check if I have anything in my current directory. At the moment, I don't have any file or directory in my current directory. So that is why nothing has been displayed. So now we are going to create a directory. To create a directory, we use the command make that. So I say mkdir. I call it make that. So I have to issue this command and then I'll specify the name of the directory that I want. Okay. So let's say I want to create a directory called bioinformatics. I'll just type bioinformatics like this and then I'll hit my enter button. So now if I do an ls, I'm going to find that a directory called bioinformatics has been created. You can create more than one directory, okay, using the mkdir command. So let's say you want to create two directories. We can say mkdir, and then we specify the names. So let's say you want to create two directories. Let's say one directory is called DNA, and then another directory is called RNA. We can create them. So let's hit the enter button. So now if I do an ls, I'm going to find the directories there. So I have DNA, I have RNA. So this is how we create directories. Okay. Now if you want to remove a directory, we have to use the rmdir. Okay, this is the command we use. And then you can specify the directory. So let's say you want to remove the RNA directory. I can just type rmdir and then I'll specify the directory. So I'll do it this way. So now if I do an ls, I'll find that the RNA directory has been removed. Please take note that the rmdir command is irreversible. So you should be careful when using it to remove directories. Okay. Now the rmdir command is used to remove empty directories. When I say empty directories, I mean directories that do not contain files. Okay. Now let's try this. Let's create a file in the dna directory so let's say touch and then let's say dna slash and then we say sequence dot past a let's create this file now let's do an ls in the dna directory we are going to find that file there so if let's say i want to remove the dna directory and i use this one rmdir and i specify it like this and I issue this command, I'll get an error message. Okay, it says RMDR fail to remove DNA, directory not empty. Okay, so the RMDR command is used when your directory is empty. If your directory is not empty, there are other ways to do it. So to remove a non empty directory, we use RM and then we say dash FR. This is one way to do it, and then you can specify the directory. So I'll say DNA. So if I do it this way, I'm going to remove all files in that directory, including the directory itself. Okay. So if I do it, let's see, let's just try it. Okay. So now if I do an LS, that directory is also gone. Okay. But if let's say you want to remove files in that directory, then you just have to specify the directory and then specify that file. Okay. So let's just create another file in the bioinformatics um, directory. So let's say touch bioinformatics slash, let's say genome.txt. So if I want to remove the file in it, then I just have to say rm bioinformatics slash genome.txt, and then that will be removed. So the rmdir is for empty directory rm-fr is for non empty directory so for dash fr it should remove everything in that directory including the directory itself so take note of that and then for files regular files you have to use the rm and it specify that file there are other ways to remove files okay we will do some advanced commands later but for now just try your hands on these commands so now that you are done with this tutorial I will encourage you to watch the videos in this playlist and then polish your Linux scores.